Stacker just pushed out a new version of its product that is almost guaranteed to change the way you work with your data. If you're interested in checking out all the new features that just kicked off, stick around and let's get into it. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I own a company called Gap Consulting that helps people to organize and automate their business and life with no code tools. Now Airtable is kind of the base or the backbone of everything that we build, but Stacker is a very vital part of that entire journey and it provides a fantastic front end opportunity for giving people a way to interact with your data. So in this video, I'm really excited to be jumping into the newly released features from Stacker. I still remember the first time I met with the founders of Stacker before they ever pushed their product out and they were sharing their idea with me about what they were gonna be building. And I thought, these guys really get it. They understand what we need right now in this industry and in this space. And they solved a great problem for so many users. And now here they are again, launching something that blows their old product out of the water and really kicks it up to the next level. Before we get into the new features though, I wanna invite you to join me on my upcoming weekly training. Once a week, I hold a live webinar where I teach the foundations of building in no code and leveraging automation to unlock more time for yourself. Personally, I automate about 20 hours per week with no code automation and I want to help you get similar results. Even a fraction of that would be a significant amount of time for you to buy back. So if you're interested, do check the link below or just visit garethpronovost.com slash webinar dash registration and get all signed up for our next training. But without further ado, let's hop into the new features from Stacker. I am logged into my classic version now of Stacker. So when you log into Stacker, now that they've pushed out these new updates, you'll see the standard uh, page that you saw before. If you have a number of different apps, you'll have them all here and able to be logged into. Now, once you've made a selection on one of these apps, go into the app itself and you're gonna be greeted with a new little sign up here at the top that tells you that a new version is available and that you can now create a workspace with more powerful apps you can open or learn more. Now, I would strongly recommend giving this a read when you have the chance. The short version is they have helped 20,000 teams to date to build no-code tools and front-end portals inside of Stacker, and they're on a goal to reach a million different teams around the world. It's a really ambitious goal, but I know that their tool is so powerful that I don't think they're gonna have a hard time accomplishing this goal in any uh, short amount of time. So. Coming on down to this part, about a third of the way or a quarter of the way into the article, they talk about the new future of software. And their vision now is using the people who work inside of the business and giving them the power to build the tools they need to grow their own business. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, obviously I'm sure you know that that is really aligned with my personal philosophy as well. We, as workers inside of our business, need to have the skill set and the capability of building these tools ourselves without having to know code. And that's really the heart of what the no code movement is all about. So I am 100% behind the mission that Stacker is putting out here. But the new features that they're talking about, really, the most exciting part to me is this capability to power your whole business with a workspace of apps. So you'll notice here the new interface is very different and in the new interface we have the ability to add multiple apps into a workspace. So if you think about a workspace as running your company but then having different apps inside of the company for different purposes, we have the ability now as Stacker users to build all of these apps directly inside of our portal. So you're no longer confined to just clicking into one database and bringing in that one app. Now you can add multiple apps. Each app can connect to a different database and they've even given us the capability to now start tapping into new software as well. And this is really, really powerful stuff. So I'm gonna be going step by step through all their documentation with us. Now, we're talking about connecting data from across all parts of the business. And you get a glimpse here that shows you numerous different data sources that they're already in beta tests with. So no longer are we confined just to building a portal with Airtable. Now we have the ability 
to lock into Google Sheets, connect to our Stripe account if you're processing payments in Stripe, and also Intercom. So we are gonna be taking a deeper look at this inside of my own example. But the idea here is that we're combining teams, partners, and customers all in one place. So imagine having this capability inside of your business where your team can log into your app, your customers can log into your app, your vendors, your management, your clients, everybody has a uniquely crafted experience waiting for them inside of the workspace of apps that you've built to support and run your business. It's nothing short of amazing how we're now able to share all of this data in a very customized way with all the different key players in our team, our business, our lives. There is a lot going on here. I don't wanna read it line by line. Definitely take some time yourself to explore this, but just know that charts and dashboards are coming. That's definitely a highlight. We've got email notifications for collaborations. So, you know, different notifications are gonna be sent to you inside the app. Uh, you get detail pages, which we've had before, uh, dozens of other small changes, just overall making this a better experience. Oh, and of course, I didn't mean to skip the action buttons. So now we're gonna be able to create focused pop-ups to make the processes for like approvals uh, or reviews or something along those lines way simpler inside of your workspace and app. So when you're ready to give this a try, here's what we can do. Popping back into our stacker, we can just click open here, and this is gonna open the new experience inside of Stacker. Now I've already started to set some stuff up here, but let's go into the settings and really drill into how this is gonna work. So down here in the bottom, click on this building, and we get our settings popping up here, and we've got a couple of different things. The, on the general, all we can change right now is the workspace name, so let's call it example for new Stacker. Once we save that, we notice that the workspace name up here has changed as well. Drilling into appearance, we have a lot more customization options available to us. Now, I've already added my logo, I've already added a logo icon here, but if I wanna drill in more, if you recall, previously Stacker had just a limited number of uh, color options to us, but now we're getting a larger color palette to choose from, so I can choose any of these colors to be the default color for the app. Now this is going to show up when people are clicking on it. So if they're looking through the menu, you get a little example right here that it's gonna show up like this and this is the color then of the app. And we also get to pick that background color. So do we want that to be dark gray? Do we want that to be light? Or do we want that to be the app color? In which case then the highlight color turns to white and we get the app color in the background. So this is probably a little jarring with this plum color. So I'm gonna drill this down and go to light here. And you can also choose if you wanna have the logo showing up here or the logo icon in your app space. Once we're all set there, we can save those appearances and move on. Next, we're gonna look at users. This is where we can just enter email addresses and have our users pop into our workspace. So again, this is slightly different from the way that Stacker used to work because it used to be that in the old version, we would tie this to a table inside of Airtable. And given that Airtable was a key component to every single Stacker app you built, that made sense. But now you can be connected to multiple different apps. So you're gonna to need to port your users in and just enter in their email addresses. You can choose whether they are members or owners at this point. And I'm sure over time, we're gonna get additional permissions here as well. Drilling into here, if you wanna edit, of course, you can go in and change somebody's permission levels as well, and then save those or cancel once you've made those decisions and you're all set there, but drilling into advanced features, this is where things are gonna get a lot more crazy. We get the ability to change who can create apps. So we'll look at this more in detail in a moment, but on the left-hand side, all of the apps in our workspace are gonna be listed here, and we can add more by hitting this plus. So do we want all workspace members to be able to do that, or only the owners of the workspace? I'll leave that up to you. I know which one I'll pick. Then we also have the setting for inviting users. So who gets the permission level to invite new users to the workspace? Is it everybody or just owners? Also, we need to manage users. So who can remove, delete, etc. cetera. Uh, billing, uh, so who's gonna be able to manage the subscription and the billing details? Obviously, that's generally gonna be owners. Uh, who's gonna be able to contact support at Stacker? Who is going to be able to view the workspace settings and who's gonna be able to edit those settings? 
So definitely drill into here and make sure that you pick some settings that really make a lot of sense for you. Also do note that you have the ability to start off on a free trial. You can choose a plan if and when you decide that this is worth paying for, and then you can always book a one-on-one -on -one or just chat with Stacker to get some additional support. Now, once you're all good with your settings, you notice that you can select an app. So you've created a new app. In this case, I did this just by clicking the plus. So let's go ahead and just start over from scratch and start a new app. And you see when I do that, I get the ability to either start an empty app or to explore a template. Let's see what they have for templates. Once those are loaded, we can sort through the different categories here. If we're a local business, for example, maybe we want a template for tracking uh, contractor time or managing our vendors or building a sales pipeline inside of Stacker. The sky's the limit for how you want to customize your own business. In this case, I'll go with the sales pipeline and you know, get a little bit of a description here and you notice it tells you what software is working in the background for this. And the cool thing is this has already started working with Google Sheets. So let's give this an install and see how it works. I'll choose my, uh, my Google account here and I'll allow Stacker to, to sync in with it. And we'll go ahead and keep that name. We also get to change or choose an app icon here. So if we want a specific icon to float over here on the side uh, to help us understand which one this is, we can look at that. And then who is this app accessible to? Is it available to every user in the workspace or is it only available to you as the person creating it? Again, you can also choose the color of this. Let's go ahead and pop in with, uh, how about a green on this one? And we'll create it. All right, so that took just about a minute to set up and it's now telling me it's all done. So I can click check it out and let's see what it put together for us. So this first one was a one that I tested out earlier and I didn't actually build anything here. And now you see there's another icon added up on top with a sales pipeline. So we've got a couple different uh, views that we can scroll into here. We have our deals, we have our accounts, we have our contacts, and we have our activities. Now this all looks very similar to the original stacker in the form of its presentation here on the right hand side of my screen. So it looks like the big enhancement here is really the ability to have all of these multiple apps at once. So this app is all built out, all, the whole sales pipeline is set and I can start adding new data and you know, moving my deals through the uh, process and all of that. And we can send them to won or lost here on the side. I mean, this is a really clean and beautiful pipeline and it all came together with just the push of a few buttons and I can customize it further from here should I choose to do so. So you do see on the bottom of my screen, I have the ability to edit the layout. So any changes that I wanna make, this looks really similar to the original version of Stacker. I can go in, drop all of that data in there and play around with it from there. But the key takeaway here is that this data is all consolidated now in one workspace. So I don't have to grant access to my Google Sheets and give that to all of my people on my sales team. Instead, I just have to get them logged into my Stacker app and they can access the sales pipeline and interact with that data. And the best part of this is I can build out all of these different apps and adjust the privacy for those apps in such a way that the people on my team only see what they need to see. Similarly, my clients only need to see what they need to see or whoever I'm granting access to. This is a huge upgrade and if I'm being fully transparent, I feel like I've yet to wrap my head around all of the possibility that this really opens up to us in the no-code space. I'm excited to jump in more, but I wanted to get this video out to show you all of the cool things that are going on and get you excited too. And hopefully, if you haven't already, check out the new Stacker upgrades. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. Thanks for watching. Leave any questions you have below and I'll see you in the next one. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly. And we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online courses and a group coaching program. And for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.